lever. I had a spare electricity generator and then I, I went to um, Walmart and I got this bike for 200 RMB and then I uh, fitted the generator on and then I was making another thing in my studio that was um, an air cleaning machine and then I thought it'd be a lot more interesting if you could actually connect that with the bike and then so as you're pedalling you're providing your own clean air. The main idea people do is to try and breathe through something and then that takes everything away. The idea of this uh, contraption is that it, it cleans the air for you rather than you kind of breathing through something and then it's all self-powered. The, the way it works, when you turn the pedals, obviously the wheel turns. And you can see then this, this thing turns here. This turns very, very fast. It generates uh, AC electricity, which goes to this little thing. It makes the electricity get faster, higher voltage, and then up to this thing here. And this is, goes very high voltage. Even people with any kind of knowledge of electrical parts will start being able to understand how it works. The air gets pulled in through here and then the dust particles that you breathe get positively charged from the, the, the red cable with the 5000 volts and then they, they get stuck onto something in here. So it's in effect an ionizer and then this has a fan that pulls the air in goes down this this conduit here and then and then goes through to this uh, through to this mask which is actually a fighter pilot's mask the premise of the idea was also to make people in other countries like where I come from in England make them realize what it's like here and then this is kind of like my reaction to that. I mean, people in China put up with that every day, but in the UK, that was 50 years ago, it was like this. So, <laughs> it's an old problem, but it's in a new, new circumstance. It doesn't just like mess with your head, it's slightly depressing too. You can see like whether it's polluted just because of the, uh, the sunlight through your window, whether you want to look out the window or not. And it's got so bad, I don't really look out the window anymore. <laughs> I just uh, close the curtains. So I, I find that a little bit alarming to live somewhere where you don't want to look outside. 